Time is now. Let's go. The top 10 NFL teams according to college. Number no, 10. No bias here. We go on data. Philadelphia. The Eagles have only allowed a, one quarterback to reach 100 passer rating the entire season, and they played some good ones. They've allowed fewer than 300 yards of offense in five games this year. That's tied for the most in the NFL. You saw what their defensive front did to the Minnesota Vikings offense. Okay, Philadelphia can be scary if they can get their offensive line settled and Wentz more snaps. Number nine. Atlanta's the opposite of Philadelphia. No concerns on offense. First in scoring, first in total offense. And they become the most dynamic big play offense in the league. 37 plays of 20-plus yards. Arizona dominated that for a couple of years. Now Atlanta does. Number eight. San Diego. You think I'm nuts, right? First of all, they're in the best division in football. Despite having won just three of seven, they have led for more game time this year than 29 other teams. They have the most red zone trips. They have the most red zone points in the league. This is simply not about record. Atlanta is one of the best teams in the National Football League. They could be 7-0, and Joey Bosa has been really good despite showing up late. Number seven. The Raiders' ability to close out games, which San Diego hasn't, I put them one stop ahead. For the record, Latavius Murray, finally healthy. Wow. Now Derek Carr has a running game. Derek's got 13 touchdown passes, only three picks. That's the fewest interceptions by any player with double-digit passing touchdowns. He would be my MVP. This team's not built to win the Super Bowl yet. They're too youthful. I love, though, offensively what I see. Number six. Listen, how far can Denver go with just defense? Pretty far. They lead the NFL in key defensive stats. Sacks, points scored off takeaways. You can't get over the top on them because you don't have time to throw. Their safeties and corners are elite. Defensively, I thought it was one of the best defenses I'd ever seen in my life watching football last year. They haven't stepped back much. Denver at six. Number five. Kansas City has, in my opinion, the second best coach in the NFL in Andy Reid, who's now 16-2 and two off buys. They also are the second best fourth quarter team in the NFL. A plus 30-point differential. So they come in scripted and good, and they close out strong. They may be boring. Kansas City number five. Number four. Now, I believe my final four teams are the only four teams right now capable of winning the Super Bowl or start with Seattle. Listen, their offensive line's not very good, and at times they can really struggle to run the football. But I think Pete Carroll has shown an ability in the last four years, Seattle – has only lost by double digits one time, 10 points. They're in every single game, and they're one of four teams in the league allowing under three and a half yards a rush. They force you to be one-dimensional. That makes them, with Pete Carroll and Russell Wilson's playmaking ability, a Super Bowl-capable team. Number three. Minnesota. Listen, they're not getting many yards per play. A lot of that is they're missing their offensive tackles but they rank first in yards per play allowed and points per drive allowed. This is the best defense in the National Football League. I love their coach. Don't go crazy. Even good teams have bad weeks. They'll recalibrate. They play the Bears this week. They'll get back on the winning track with a rout. Number two. You're going to think I'm nuts, but I took the emotion out of it. Right now, Dallas is the second best team in the National Football League. They're the only team running the football over 50%. Ezekiel Elliott's the only player in the NFL over 700 yards. They lead the NFL in time of possession. And they're the only team in the NFL ranking top five in yards per pass and yards per rush. This is an offensive machine. The offensive line has four out of five players are elite first round level talents. You got some Hall of Famers on this offensive line. You can't get the DAC. They're underneath receiver Cole Beasley. Now they get Dez on the outside. 
If you look at hard numbers, that 28 nothing lead in minutes over Cincinnati confirmed it to me. This is now a very special offense, and it's allowing their defense, which has improved, to be on the field for fewer snaps. Number one. Come on. Since Tom Brady's return, there's only two teams in the league averaging 400 yards and 30 points a game. Brady, as I showed you earlier today, is a significantly better quarterback post deflate gate. Those 22 games, he is now with Drew Brees losing and aging, with Big Ben being hurt, Manning retired, Cam's inconsistency, and Aaron Rodgers dipping. He is the only quarterback every week who is guaranteed to be great. He's it. And because of that and their coach, they're number one. 